Hello. Today we are going to talk, and this is series number six, video number six in the series of Why Am I Not Healed? and rebuking what blocks or hinders a healing. I was asked by a person to cover this topic. This is really a topic that it's implied and that is that we have to have if we're not healed we have to get closer to God we have to get closer to Jesus we have to have a deeper relationship in order to be healed that's the topic for today let's get on with it Thank you for landing on my channel. For the best teachings on divine health and divine healing, hit that subscribe button. Click that old bell so you'll be notified when I post new content every single week, every single Wednesday. Hi, my name is Tony Myers. I was healed from Lou Gehrig's disease. My testimony was featured on the 700 Club. I've written five books about divine healing and I've guided thousands to be able to recognize and acknowledge their full healing. And with just a few tweaks in your perception and your beliefs you yes you can be next there is still the under or the misunderstanding that in order to be healed you have to have a super close relationship if you're not healed you've got to push in deeper and deeper and have a better relationship with jesus and the heavenly father and it goes right along with well you've got to be this perfect person in order to be healed and that's not the case at all this is going to be a very short teaching. It's very simple. I've talked about it in some of the other videos. Jesus is our righteousness. Therefore, we are holy. And therefore, our healing is already within us. Do you have to have a super close relationship to be healed? I had no relationship with Jesus or the Father or the Holy Spirit when I was healed. My healing is what caused me to want a relationship. And once again, the Lord is no respecter of persons. So guess what? It is not dependent upon us. It is dependent on do we believe we're healed? Yes or no? And if we make a statement such as, well, I still have symptoms, then we don't believe we're healed. This is not based upon physical observation. This is based on, do you believe you're healed? Now, and today, I'm really not going to use a bunch of scriptures to prove this because I don't have to. It's very simple. How many people in scripture that Jesus healed, did Jesus have a one-on-one -on -one 
perfect relationship with. Very few. How about with um, any of the individual healings we see in the Gospels? He'd be walking by, pray for him. They were healed. No close-knit personal relationship because it's not based on us. Our healing is not based on us. We need only believe. With the... Um, With the men that were not part of Jesus' group, that were casting out demons that John and James saw by the roadside, did they have a personal relationship with Jesus? No. He, they were not part of Jesus' circle at all. So it was healing based upon how deep our personal relationship is no and in fact a lot of times and once again this all depends on what a person believes but so many people still today think if somebody was healed they were so right with God that they were so perfect um, just a little anecdote anecdotal story is one time I was giving my testimony to this older lady and all of a sudden she like gets upset starts freaking out says I don't believe you you weren't healed because I had a friend that died from the same thing you had and there's no way God healed you and didn't heal her. And like I said, it was an older, older lady who I'm assuming took my blue hair as being a sin or whatever. Um, so people still think that way they think that people who pray for the sick automatically are way up there on the relationship scale and not necessarily because that's how available the loving father and Jesus have made healing Jesus never said oh you have to be close and personal with me first name basis now is that what I want for you absolutely I want you to have a close personal relationship with the Holy Spirit with Jesus with the Father absolutely we should be seeking that relationship that is what they want our father is a father but is that a requirement is that if you don't have a personal relationship, can you be healed? And my answer is absolutely yes. Yes, 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 yes. Because you aren't healed, that does not mean that you do not have a close personal relationship. Like I said, this is implied in a lot of ways. And there are people that teach healing that will make statements that imply, you know, well, you won't be healed in, unless you're seeking a deeper and deeper relationship. You got to get deeper. I think we all want a better relationship with Jesus with the Holy Spirit, with the Heavenly Father. But that is not 
a block or a hindrance unless we believe that it is. Many people get healed that aren't even Christians, don't even believe in Jesus, just like I was. Now what works against people is the first thought, well, I've served God my whole life and I'm still not healed. That's because we are then basing our actions, basing our healing on our actions. When somebody, somebody will come up and say, and sincere enough, well, you know, I've gone to work, I've gone to church every single day of my life. I've done this, I've done that. Then what are we basing our healing off of? Your performance, not Jesus's. So therefore, if you were healed, you would be healed by your actions. It's not. Healing is given to us by the righteousness of Christ. Because through his righteousness, we are sons of God. So if I think that I'm being healed because of my action, it's not going to happen. And I did that. That's how I know. Because the Holy Spirit showed me one day after my healing when I declared that the Lord Jesus would heal me. I was doing that to earn my healing. In other words, based upon my action. Which is why it wasn't until two years later that I was healed. So there, there is so much we determine holiness by our actions, not by the righteousness of God put in us. And we try to do the same thing with healing. As we base it off of our actions. And so that's why I want to do just a quick video to get you thinking about this. This is not reliant on your action. And if there's something you think you have to do to get your healing, kill that. Forget about it. Change your belief. Jesus did everything. All we have to do is believe we're healed. Take it as a fact. You can see so many uh, examples just in the Gospels of people that did not have a relationship with Jesus, people that were not close to Jesus. Same thing in the book of Acts. There were claws sent to people. Paul's clothing was sent. Not all of them, I'm positive, believed in Jesus or had a close relationship. The, um, the, 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 uh, demonic man, Legion, uh, he had no relationship with Jesus, yet was healed. So, we need to get rid of these thoughts that, oh, this person is so holy and don't make a mistake and they pray for 24 hours a day and they're so perfect. That is not a requirement because Jesus met the standard for us. Now, as I always say, we still want to develop our relationship every single day and be closer to Jesus than we were yesterday. We do that through having more and more revelation 
of the Father's love for us and Jesus' love for us. And then we will grow and grow and grow. In the dis so I just speak, be blessed, be healed, and be a blessing. Check out the description section. I've got the links to my website. I got the link to my Amazon authors page where you can purchase my books. And the YouTube channel member link to become a channel member. Thank you, Jesus.